Nadia, tell us a little bit more about neutral evaluation. Neutral evaluation is also referred to as early neutral evaluation. Uh, it's another one of our advisory ADR processes. Um, and it can refer to two different uh, types of things. But first of all, let me distinguish it from case appraisal. Um, whereas in case appraisal, um, we saw that the case appraiser uh, makes a recommendation on what he or she thinks will be the outcome if the matter goes to court. What the neutral evaluator does is make suggestions either for a way to move forward in the process, so it can give process advice, or some versions of early neutral evaluation um, involve the neutral evaluator making a substantive recommendation about what would be a good way to sort this out substantively, right? So it would make recommendations for a settlement uh, proposal, for example. So in neutral evaluation, the focus is not on what an, you know, what the outcome would be if it goes to a court or a tribunal, but what can we do with, you know, with this dispute as it is here and now, either on a, in a procedural way or in a substantive way. Mm. And those are recommendations. They're not binding. Um, they can be accepted by, um, by the parties or, again, they can form the basis for some more negotiations that the parties might have. Um, typically... Uh, neutral evaluate uh, the neutral evaluation is made in writing, uh, and uh, and it's based on uh, summary presentations made by the parties, uh, usually with the help of their lawyers, as well. So it's, a, it's again, it's a fairly short process. Uh, might take half a day or a day, uh, and uh, and again, depending on the um, the third party, the third party might want to uh, go away and come back a week later with a written. Um, uh, with a written recommendation or might turn that around more quickly.